We love our libraries, but are they on their last leg? Has their tradition been trumped by technology? Sari Feldman says no. Sari is the executive director of the Cuyahoga County Public Library and the new president of the American Library Association. And she's here to tell us how libraries are transforming themselves and as a result, transforming us. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. So we all have memories of our libraries you know, growing up. Um, we went there to read and study and do homework and everything, but we've got books and movies and newspapers and pretty much any research we need to do on our computers and our tablets. So, you know, what's going on? Is there still a place for the library? I'm here to tell you that libraries are at the center of community life and they're more vibrant than ever. And it's a really exciting time for people in our communities to be using their libraries. All right, so give us some examples of how things are changing at the library. Well, certainly around technology. So people come to the library to learn how to do everything from use a mouse to create an Excel spreadsheet. We also have um, audio studios and video studios. So people are discovering, creating, and sharing content by, through the support of our expert professional staff. And there's community rooms for, to bring information in and everything, right, in most oh, libraries. Yes, all of our libraries have meeting room spaces that the community can really engage in our space. So that's why it's so lively and energetic in the library. And a lot of people don't have computers in their homes, surprisingly, because it seems yeah. like everybody would have that, but some people don't, so they can use the library, right? Absolutely, so 25% of Americans don't have a computer or access to the internet, but even 60% of Americans who do come to the library because we have high-speed broadband in our libraries, so the connection is fast, and we have staff to help you, and that's oh, yeah. really important. <laughs> Sometimes you need that help, that's true. Right. Right. And I, our viewers, I think, would be particularly interested in what's going on at, um, at the Cuyahoga County Public Library in programs for older adults. So tell us about some of those. Well, we have such a, a wonderful and vital older adult population in Cuyahoga County. We're offering the AARP Primetime Program, in, supported by AARP, and that's to offer programming that can support independent living. So okay. there's housing programming and health programming and other topics. Mm -hmm. But we also are very fortunate to be part of the Cleveland Foundation Encore Program to help seniors think about the next phase of life. And we have the Encore Entrepreneur Program, which is helping seniors to start businesses, and also the Encore Connected Learning Program, which pairs seniors with children to discover what they might be interested in and to work together, particularly around technology. To, for, the, uh, for the adults to mentor the kids or for the kids to mentor the adults on technology? I, I think it's a great <laughs> partnership. It's the perfect collaboration. <laughs> so, and you're the new president of the American Library Association and the theme this year for you is Libraries Transform. Right. So from a, the things that you're talking about there, I guess it's pretty easy to believe. Certainly, and we want to demonstrate the kind of an, um, the opportunities we create around education, individual opportunity, and progress for our communities. It's really a great time to be using your library for employment, entrepreneurship, engagement, education, and we want to make sure that people know we have these highly qualified professionals who are there to help you, particularly support you around technology. That's fantastic. So the libraries we love are not lost. They're becoming even better. My thanks to Sari Feldman for renewing our commitment to a community keepsake. Thanks. Find out more by calling the Cuyahoga County Public Library at 216-398-1800 or log on to www.cuyahogalibrary.org.